sisters and brothers of beautiful Ireland. I must speak today on something difficult. Last week, my auntie was told to remove, leave the home of her safety and walk nine hours hungry, sick and cold to the sea. Such ambiguous instruction. And now she sleeps in plastic sheets. So forgive me when I speak with anger in my heart about the path that has led us here. We have been complacent. For decades, my people have bled, cried, and screamed for their rights to exist. And the root cause is our pacifism. We have allowed technology to grow around us without our attention. There has been a means for us to blindly consume for profit and control. This can't go on any longer! We must not let the people of my country and the over 13,000 children in Gaza that have died to die in vain. Now, from this moment, we must rebirth what it means to be a collective. We must rebirth what it means to be a people. We will no longer be passive. For you see, our minds are a sanctuary. And instead of this unlimited access to information that we have being used to, for example, better journalism, journalism has instead been contracting. Contracting under those who wish to control narrative for their own economic gain. And we say no more! No more! We refuse to what you tell us to accept, we will foster our own knowledge through communication, compassion, and love. This is our future. And this is not just about Palestine. This is the beauty in the disgusting genocide that has been on our people. The balance will come when we speak for ourselves, when we speak amongst each other about what it is our society should stand for. And that moment is now. I ask you to stand with me, to stand with your hearts, and stand for a future where through technology we will not let any cents go on wasted in a budget because we see what you are doing. We see what you are spending our money on.